Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at multicast. Specifically within multicast, we're going to go over protocol independent multicast dense mode. That is otherwise known as PIM dense mode. The first thing we're going to do within GNS3 is get our lab set up, and then we're going to be taking a look again at multicast, specifically within multicast PIM dense mode. So let's go ahead and get GNS3 our network in GNS3 setup. Multicast is used if you have, for instance, in your LAN you have a server that is trying to broadcast out real-time information. Multicast is a one-to-many multicast packet type. So it's not unicast where it's one-to-one -one traffic, one source, one destination. It's not broadcast where you have one one source to many to all destinations. Multicast is what's called one-to-many. So, so we will show you the behavior of multicast. We'll show you how to configure PIM dense mode in this lab and verify the operation of PIM dense mode. There's other types of modes in PIM, which are sparse mode. You can also have you, you can also have also types like MO OSPF, which is multicast OSPF. There's a lot of flavors of multicast out there. You have to choose which one is best based on the design and implementation of your specific network. So what I did there was I went ahead and built a network for us. And I'm going to get into the routers now and start configuring them. We're going to get all the interfaces set up with the IPs and the routing protocol. In dense mode, the multicast stream is what's called as like being pushed out so like in push mode so we are pushing this multicast traffic out so say there are hosts that do not want to receive multicast traffic so in in the sparse mode there is what's called a rendezvous point configured on the network where the hosts that want to join the multicast stream they have to alert the rendezvous point and ask to see if the rendezvous point knows about the specific multicast stream. PIM sparse mode again is not covered in this lab but in this lab we're going to be using what's called PIM dense mode where we are where it is using a push technique so it's pushing all this multicast traffic to all the routers unless the router does not partit want or have any hosts that are participating in, in that multicast stream in that case the multicast or the router will become pruned for that multicast group within PIM